What's bubbling YouTube? Welcome to my new YouTube channel that's not really new but it's kind of new. Basically I started this channel years ago and didn't do anything with it and now that we have a pandemic Yay! I actually have time to do something with it so I'm going to. I do have another YouTube channel that's called Hire a Mermaid UK and that is for my company so I thought it better to separate the two have my own little my own little bubble and then obviously my company YouTube as well so please do follow subscribe to that one as well as you can tell I don't know what I'm doing I made one video ages ago and then now I'm making a new one so anyway the sorts of things I'm gonna cover on here I have so many different ideas I'm gonna do tail reviews I'm gonna just tell you about stuff I'm doing mermaid makeup looks singing because you know that's mermaidy too and I love to sing so yeah and I'm gonna get straight into it today because I'm not gonna just babble along I've got loads of ideas and you'll find out what they are they'll be coming at you we're gonna oh we're gonna do mermaid news things happening in the mermaid world in the mermaid community in both film and with your professional mermaid so yeah that's gonna be exciting I think so I think a great way to start this off is going to be with a tail unboxing review test try shoot photography type thing and this tail is from a company that you may well not have heard of I think they're pretty much only just kind of coming up into the known universe of tail makers and they're seaweed wonderland limited and they have sent me a tail to try um this isn't a paid advertisement i don't even get to keep the tail they've literally just sent it to me for a couple of weeks so i can see what i think um and let you guys know i have loads of experience for any of you that don't know me i have been a mermaid i've been in the mermaid world since 2011 i didn't call myself a professional mermaid until around 2014 um when i started my company Hi mermaid uk and yeah i've just been doing things since then i was miss mermaid uk 2016 um went on to miss mermaid international i represented the uk at the world mermaid championships i run a mermaid camp to teach people how to become mermaids so yeah just a little bit of background so you know that i kind of know what i'm talking about uh anyway <laughs> so this is the tail just been packaged i've not even opened it yet as you can see because i wanted to open it on camera i have never seen one of their tails in person before uh they actually create um a bit of a controversial tail um there's a tail that's kind of like a sea serpenty tail it's definitely not for beginners doesn't contain a fluke or anything like that um and it looks really really cool i'll insert a little video of it here <coughs> Joking, dying. So yeah, see, it's super cool. Very hard to swim in, so definitely not one for non-professionals. Um, see a little bit of it already. It is colourful. As I said, I've been shown a photo of this tail. Ah, and just a little heart saying, thank you so much. Looking at tail, you're very welcome. Mermaid Lucia, I think she runs the company Se Seaweed Wonderland Limited. Um, so she asked me, she messaged me on Instagram to do this. So opening up the bag. Oh, okay. Straight away, this is a completely different fabric to any fabric tail I've ever touched in my life. And I've touched many. Oh, sounds strange. Okay, so. Wow. Okay, sorry, I should probably show you what I'm doing. So it's, I wish I was more versed in the names of materials. It's a silk material, like a silk scarf. So not like spandex or traditional, ah, the body is a kind of neoprene. It's the kind of, uh, it's kind of scuba knit fabric. So it's, it's very similar to neoprene. It's not as thin as a, um, as a spandex tail or anything like that it's kind of it's got this really pretty skin blending you know it actually won't touch it to my makeup that would actually suit my skin quite well and wow okay it's got these really floaty fabricy bits you can see it is like see-through it's translucent and it's got the translucent hip fins and then the same for the dorsal fin which goes all the way down you love a good dorsal fin in the water i am going to be taking this to um a private pool near me that i'm gonna 
fire and have a swim in it so you'll get more review about how it swims towards the end of this video because I'll cut it all together and yeah so it's it is this scuba knit fabric that goes into this kind of silk material and this is uh, inspired by the beta fish um, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this it is too big for my camera screen so I am gonna lay this down and get some video here on my mobile so that you can see it better but I will bring it up to the camera so you can kind of see the scale detail it is a really pretty scale as with fabric tails it does have a seam but uh, they have actually tried to match the scale so you can see the seam is here and they've actually tried to match it so it's not so obvious which is amazing because there are some fabric tails that don't meet and then as you can see as it gets kind of more towards where the fluke has to expand for the heels and things you can see they weren't able to quite keep it there but that is really good that's that little bit there is really really good and then and then it goes up to the uh, dorsal fluke so then from the dorsal fluke pretty much all the way to where your heels sit they've matched the seam let me see if they've done it on the other side. So is that purposeful or is it just coincidence? No, they've matched it on this side as well. So there's the seam right down the middle. So that's amazing. That's really good for fabric tails because obviously fabric tails, you don't know how realistic they're gonna be in person. And just the fact that when it's stretched out on your body, you won't really be able to see the seams is a really big thing. So I love that. That's really, really good. Um, the colours are amazing, it's proper kind of rainbow, lots of ambers and greens and blues. Um, and as I said, skin blending on a fabric tail as well. I'll show you that up close up. Really, really nice fading there. This big, big old silk, let me bring this closer. See the way that they have brought the scuba knit fabric to the silk is kind of in these little strips. They're really not showing on camera at all. There you go, you can just kind of see it there, going down in a triangle uh, to join on to the silk. I am really excited to see how this swims. So here you can see how beautiful this tail looks. It is so bright. It does not even fit on the bed. This fluke is huge. Like I can't even get it all in the picture. It is a massive beta style fluke and it's such a soft silky material i think it's going to look beautiful in the water it really is it's going to look like fire but it does to whether a fluke will show a monofin will show i'm not sure i'm getting all my words muddled today as yes, you can see and then you can see the dorsal fin on the other side so it really is very very pretty i'm very excited to swim in it I have just found that they've secretly got their little logo on the tail which is adorable that you wouldn't notice it like from afar it's it's not out there or overly it's not going to ruin the illusion of the tail but I think that is really cute obviously I'm gonna need to try it on I hope it fits it looks as if it will it look yeah it's got scuba and it has a decent amount of stretch to it so that's another bonus with fabric tails is that they can fit multiple sizes much better than say a silicone tail that is made for one specific person um so yeah so my thoughts so far are love the skin blending love that they've matched the scales on the sides um as best they can so they've hidden at the seams as best you can on a fabric tail love the hip fins um, with the translucent and the dorsal fin and the, it's such a different material that the hip fins and the dorsal fin are not the same material as the fluke the fluke is a kind of silk and the hip fins and the dorsal fin are kind of a dyed um, the word loses me I've completely lost the name of this fabric so I will insert it here it's kind of a dyed that I know exactly what it is I have costumes made of it and I can't remember what it's called <laughs> This is going well, isn't it? <laughs> 
one thing to point out, actually, that I didn't mention before, lots of fabric tails have some kind of sealant on the bottom. They are either stitched at the corners, so when the monofin goes in, it kind of stays with the monofin, and then they've still got a gap at the bottom, but you don't see it in the water. Or um, fabric tails can be like poppers or with Velcro. Um, usually it is just kind of the corners are stitched, but there is no stitching here whatsoever. It opens up completely like a proper betta fish fin. I see why they've gone for this. Um, but it's gonna be really interesting to see that when I move in the water, if it becomes uncovered because there's nothing to hold it on the fluke and swimming in a straight line, it will look beautiful and it should hopefully be very fluid and you won't see the fluke poking out. But when I do any turns um, or kind of stand in the water waiting, like obviously you don't just swim in a straight line when you're swimming as a mermaid. So I'm really interested to see if it comes out and I'm curious to see what monofin I'm going to be able to wear with this. Immediately, I think a finish rapid is gonna go in this just fine. Um, I think I have one of those, so that won't be a problem. Will a mahina fit in it? I don't know. I'm gonna go grab my mahina and find out. Okay, so trying monofins, as you can see immediately, the finish wave will fit in this tail. I've also got a Hydra monofin, still in the bag, but whatever, um, which I believe it should go about there, which would mean it would be too wide. I, I might get away with wearing it down there because obviously there is so much room in this fluke, but then obviously I'll be pulling this up higher. That'd probably end up being right under my bust. So at the moment, I think definitely the thinnest wave. Oh, okay. I didn't think the Mahina was gonna go on that then, but actually, that's in exactly the right place. So a mahina will fit in the tail as well. So whether you've got a mahina or whether you've got a finis wave will definitely fit. I think a finis rapid would work as well. Um, one of the smaller finis fins, but this is a lot of material. So you are gonna want a big, big monofin to give you that propulsion. So you don't experience too much drag, even though it is a beautiful silky material, so it shouldn't drag too much, but whenever you're gonna be swimming with a large fluke, you want a large monofin to go with it. Right, so those are the main points about the tail that I can see immediately without testing it out. It's got scuba knit body, it's got a silk fluke, and then it's got a kind of polyester chiffon uh, hip fins and dorsal fin. Uh, it's really beautifully colored, super, super bright, um, not too heavy in any way. And I'm really excited to try it out and give it a go in the water. So we're gonna whip over to there now. So straight away, the skin blending looks amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I think from a distance, you wouldn't even see where the tail ends and where my skin starts. Um, I just had a quick swim and it has no drag whatsoever. I expected such a large fluke to have a lot of drag, but it just looks beautiful.
So I'm really amazed at how the flute is staying together when there's no poppers, no sewing, no nothing. So I'm now just going to give a really good kick about and try my best to get my monofin out of the flute and see if I can manage it without obviously grabbing it and opening it. So let's give it a go. Okay, so it didn't come out at any point during all of my thrashing, so the final test is going to be a mermaid tail flip. So let's see. Not that I can see. We're back. As you can probably tell, it is now a different day. We finished filming quite late. Uh, but here are my final thoughts. Today we reviewed the Seaweed Wonderland Beta Fish Mermaid Tail 2 Golden by Mermaid Lucia. And here is my starfish rating. For realism, I give it 4 out of 5. It has amazing skin blending and scale matching on the sides. The only things that let it down are when you look closely as the body meets the fluke, uh, because you can see where the two materials are stitched together, and the hip and dorsal fin material is obviously this chiffon-y material, which, don't get me wrong, it looks amazing from afar and in the water, but if I had to be nitpicky up close, I suppose that material isn't the most realistic. For print quality, I give it a five out of five. The scales are clear, the colors are bright. There is absolutely no hint of pixelation from the printing, and there wasn't any color run when I gave it a rinse either. When it comes to how it swims, I'm also going to give it a 5 out of 5. There was no drag. The fluke has a beautiful flow. It was really a pleasure to swim in. When it comes to versatility, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. It is really great for any kind of water work, uh, even swimming parties, aquarium shows, underwater photo shoots, um, and dry land photo shoots it do well with as well. The only thing it will struggle with is children's parties and any kind of event where they're going to get inquisitive children kind of looking around the fluke because the fluke isn't sealed at all at the bottom. So if a child manages to lift up one side, then obviously the magic is gone. I don't think that would be an issue at swimming parties. As I mentioned in the video, because of the silk material, it really sticks together. So I don't think you need to worry about that. The only other aspect where it will struggle a little bit versatility wise is when you're doing a land photo shoot, there's no rigidity to the fluke end, so you won't be able to kind of lift it. The fluke material will always fall around the monofin. And this isn't a bad thing, I don't think they should change their fluke, I think it works perfectly well as it is. Uh, these are just the limitations of this particular style of tail. 
When it comes to inclusivity, I'm only going to give a two out of five at the moment. Currently, their tails are one size fits all, and although the material is very stretchy, I know that this wouldn't be the case. It was slightly tight around my bum area and thighs, so someone even slightly larger than me, and I am a UK size eight to 10, probably more of a 10 at the moment, they might struggle. There's also no evidence of alternative skin blending colors on their website, but I've spoken to Mermaid Lucia and she is working on expanding the range. So expect that two out of five to go up very, very soon. I'd recommend keeping an eye. It's also worth mentioning that you can get custom sizing from their website for an additional $50. Unfortunately, I'm not able to give a mark for durability because I only had this tail in my possession for a few days. It seems strong and as I mentioned earlier, there wasn't any kind of colour run or any issues like that. I think the tail will last you a long time, but I cannot currently comment on that myself as I haven't been able to test it for a long period. This tail will cost you $419 or £319.37 at the current exchange rate, which is pretty standard pricing for high quality fabric tails. Or if you would like the tail made to your size custom, it will be $469 or £357.49 at the current exchange rate. And that's it. I genuinely really, really like this tail. And I think with just a few little tweaks, such as the sizing ranges, that Seaweed Wonderland Limited and the range of tails could actually be really, really popular once they get their name out there. Let me know what you think of this tail in the comments below. Please subscribe for more videos like this and much, much more. And I look forward to swimming with you next time. Bye.